Hey folks, thanks for joining. This is my uh, ZX4RR. I just got my ECU back from uh, Dave Verdicia at Vcycle Nut. Now I've got myself a, a couple flashes, one for the full Graves kit, and then one with the same Graves header but with a stock muffler. And we just put the velocity stacks on. But that's not what this video is about today. This video today is about the point of no return. I have yanked all the graphics off one side of the bike. Um, it was very helpful to, to use a heat gun while you do this. It's uh, oh, about 75 degrees in my garage. And even at that, a little bit of temperature from a good heat gun really helps these stock stickers start peeling up and come off in one piece without fracturing a lot easier. So, you know, we got the left side done and um, I cleaned it all up, cleaned up the surfaces really good with my choice of cleaner, which was denatured alcohol. You can't even buy this stuff in California anymore. It's been outlawed. But uh, yeah, I still have some left over. And uh, that's my cleaner of choice when it comes to getting surfaces ready for new stickers with uh, all the old adhesive and dirt and wax and all that stuff off. But the bike looks pretty cool. It's uh, kind of neat, black and green uh, with no other BS on it. If you look at the other side, here's the stock graphics and they're nice. You know, but there's just something about the simplicity of a solid paint scheme that has no other livery on it, which is pretty cool. I did have to take my Graves uh, tank grips off. These decals on the tank are underneath the clear, so they'll just be on underneath the Graves stickers that I put on. So when you order the Graves Motorsports decal set here, there's uh, the tube it comes in, and then there's what you get, a bunch of stickers. They give you a nice squeegee, which uh, I have a lot of these already, but they did a nice touch. They put this little bit of felt on one side so you can really work the stickers down nicely. And then there's a sheet here giving you some installation tips. And it tells you the order that everything has to go on, and they tell you you'd better be between 68 and 77, and that's no joke. Don't do it when it's too cold or too hot. And they say leave the fairings on the bike. Again, really smart, because you don't want to do it off the bike and then realize things don't line up how you want. And we're going to use their instructions with Windex. I've, I've had pretty good luck with using Windex to reposition decals, squeegee them out, and then let them dry. The biggest thing is just be patient. If a sticker is perfect and it's in place, it has no bubbles, but it still moves around, just leave it alone and let it dry. Walk away. Let it evaporate. Um, just just make sure it's exactly where you want it and squeegee all the bubbles out once that's done Tap it blot it with like a, a microfiber towel just to get as much water as you can off and then just let it dry for 24 hours but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and Do the other side here remove all these stickers and uh, then start applying all the grave stuff Anyway, thanks for uh, watching and hope everyone has a great day with the Graves uh, graphics kit for this OEM bodywork, all finished up and uh, it came out really nice. At first, it's tearing off the factory stuff and you're having those regrets, wondering, am I gonna really like this? I hope I do. Well, very quickly, I was uh, very pleased with the results and not worried at all about what I was gonna think when it was all done. A lot of nice little touches, well thought out. Honestly, I think, uh, I think they did a home run, especially on the tail section. A lot more color, which I like. Stripes on the tank are pretty fun. And of course the graphics down the side just mean that, uh, you know, we all have access to what used to be a four or $5,000 paint job. Now for 300 bucks, your bike can look just like the Graves uh, Super Sport bike, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that's it. I think, uh, we are all set now on this whole graphics kit and uh, very pleased with how it came out. Thanks, Graves Motorsports.